Hey everyone, Revo now here, and brace yourselves because today we're diving into a story that's shaking the tech world to its core. We're talking about NVIDIA, the titan of GPUs, the master of silicon, the giant of the gaming and AI industries. They've been soaring to new heights, but recently it seems like that ascent might be turning into a freefall. Word on the street is that NVIDIA just experienced a plunge so severe, so catastrophic, that it erased a staggering $1.2 trillion from their market cap. Could this be the most colossal tech crash ever? Are we seeing the downfall of NVIDIA, or is there more beneath the surface? Stay tuned, because in this video, we're going to dissect what happened, distinguish fact from fiction and delve into the potential consequences of this market turmoil. You won't want to miss this. Welcome to Revo, now your go-to channel for all things revolutionary. At Revo Now, we are passionate about exploring the innovations, breakthroughs, and game-changing ideas that are shaping the world today. Our mission is to bring you the latest and most impactful advancements in technology science, culture, business and beyond, all in one place. Please subscribe, like and share our videos. All right, before diving into the details of this supposed financial disaster, let's take a step back and discuss NVIDIA. For those who may not know, NVIDIA is a tech behemoth that's become almost synonymous with high-performance computing. They produce the graphics processing units, or GPUs, that drive everything from top-tier gaming setups to state-of-the-art artificial intelligence systems. But as the old adage goes, what goes up must come down. The real question is, did Nvidia just hit a minor bump in the road? Or are we witnessing a catastrophic fall from the peak of Mount Everest? We often hear about big numbers, but $1.2 trillion is in a league of its own. It's a sum so colossal, so staggeringly huge, that it's almost beyond comprehension. Imagine 600 stacks of $100 bills reaching the International Space Station to make up $1.2 trillion. For context, the GDP of Australia, a major G20 economy, is about $1.6 trillion. This means NVIDIA's reported loss is nearly three quarters of Australia's entire economy. So, what led to this? How could a powerhouse like NVIDIA lose such an astronomical amount in such a short time? To understand the magnitude of this event, we need to dive deep into the tech market, a realm where fortunes can be made or lost in an instant. In the next few minutes, we'll uncover the various elements that might have led to NVIDIA's dramatic decline, from rumours of a bursting tech bubble to fears of rising competition and supply chain disruptions. We'll navigate through the complex world of market speculation, examine the potential effects of global economic trends and attempt to decipher the chaos. So, fasten your seatbelts, put on your thinking caps and prepare for an intense journey into the high-stakes world of tech investing. Let's dive into the colossal figure that's been making headlines, the $1.2 trillion loss that NVIDIA has reportedly faced. To give you a sense of scale, $1.2 trillion surpasses the GDP of numerous countries including developed nations like Spain and Mexico. It's also greater than the combined wealth of the world's 500 richest individuals. But here's the twist. NVIDIA didn't actually lose $1.2 trillion in cash. This figure represents a drop in their market capitalization, which is essentially the total value of all their outstanding shares. Think of it like this. If the price of a slice of pizza falls, the value of the whole pizza drops too even though the pizza itself remains unchanged. Market capitalization is a fickle beast. It's driven by a complex cocktail of factors, including investor sentiment, market trends, and of course, good old fashioned speculation. This is why a company like Nvidia, riding high on the wave of AI hype, can see its market cap fluctuate wildly. When investors are feeling bullish, their stock price soars, pushing their market cap into the stratosphere. But when doubts creep in, or the market takes a downturn, that same stock price can plummet, taking their market cap down with it. It's important to remember that it's not the same as losing actual money. It's a paper loss, a reflection of changing market sentiment, not necessarily a sign of impending doom. All right, let's clear the air. 
NVIDIA didn't literally torch a pile of cash. But the burning question remains, why did their market cap plummet so dramatically in such a short span? The saga began in late 2023, with NVIDIA's stock price rocketing skyward, fueled by sheer market enthusiasm. However, the plot thickened as competition from AMD and Intel intensified, supply chain disruptions emerged, and rumors of a tech bubble started to spread. The climax hit when NVIDIA revealed they were under investigation by the US government for allegedly breaching export controls on AI chips to China, sending shockwaves through the market. The investigation spread like wildfire, igniting a chain reaction of fear and uncertainty. Investors, already on edge, started dumping their NVIDIA stock, driving the price down further and further. The media, always eager for a good crash-and-burn story, jumped on the bandwagon, fueling the flames of panic with sensational headlines and doomsday predictions. And just like that, in the span of 46 days, NVIDIA's market cap plummeted by a staggering $1.2 trillion. But here's the thing. While the drop was undoubtedly dramatic, it's important to remember that this is just one chapter in NVIDIA's story. They are still a hugely profitable company, with a dominant position in the rapidly growing AI market. NVIDIA's rapid rise and sudden fall might feel like a gut punch, but it's a story as old as the tech industry itself. Companies with more buzzwords than profits saw their valuations skyrocket, only to come crashing down when the hype bubble burst. Digital currencies like Bitcoin soared to astronomical heights, fueled by speculation and FOMO or fear of missing out. Billions, if not trillions, evaporated seemingly overnight. These examples highlight irrational exuberance. NVIDIA's alleged export control violations add another layer of complexity to the story, highlighting the growing influence of geopolitics on the tech industry. The US-China trade war, for example, has already had a significant impact on the tech sector, disrupting supply chains, stifling innovation, and creating an atmosphere of uncertainty. For NVIDIA, the potential consequences of these violations could be significant. This situation underscores the importance for tech companies to navigate the geopolitical landscape carefully, balancing their business interests with the often conflicting demands of different governments. NVIDIA's alleged export control violations add another layer of complexity to the narrative, showcasing the increasing impact of geopolitics on the tech sector. The US-China trade tensions, for instance, have already caused significant disruptions in the tech industry, affecting supply chains, hindering innovation, and fostering an environment of uncertainty. For NVIDIA, the repercussions of these violations could be substantial. This scenario highlights the necessity for tech companies to adeptly navigate the geopolitical landscape, balancing their commercial objectives with the often divergent demands of various governments. So, where does this leave NVIDIA? Are they down for the count, or can they bounce back from this setback? While the future is always uncertain, especially in the volatile world of tech, NVIDIA still possesses several strengths that could help them weather the storm. First and foremost, they remain a leader in the AI chip market, a sector expected to experience explosive growth in the coming years. Moreover, NVIDIA has a strong track record of innovation, constantly pushing the boundaries of what's possible with their GPUs. They've also built a loyal customer base among gamers and professionals who rely on their products for their performance and reliability. However, if history is any indication, it's unwise to bet against this tech titan. All right. Let's dive into the world of rumors. When it comes to NVIDIA, the rumor mill has been in overdrive, spinning tales of a $1.2 trillion wipeout and suggesting a tech titan on the verge of collapse. But here's the thing about rumors. They feed on fear, uncertainty, and a generous helping of exaggeration. They often begin with a grain of truth. In this case, the actual decline in NVIDIA's market value. But then, they get twisted, distorted, and amplified as they spread from person to person. And in the rapid high-stakes realm of tech investing, where fortunes can be made and lost in an instant, even the wildest rumors can have tangible effects. To understand why rumors spread like wildfire, we need to look at the motivations of those doing the spreading. 
In the case of NVIDIA, there are a few usual suspects. First, we have the short sellers. These are investors who bet against a company's stock price, hoping to profit from its decline. Then there are the clickbait artists, bloggers, YouTubers, and social media personalities who thrive on generating traffic and engagement, often by sensationalizing news and exploiting people's fears. It's important to remember that these sources often have their own agendas, and their information should be taken with a grain of salt, or perhaps a whole shaker. How can we sift through the noise to uncover the truth about NVIDIA? It begins with being discerning consumers of information. Avoid taking everything you read online at face value, especially from sources known for bias or sensationalism. Instead, prioritize reputable news outlets and financial publications known for their accuracy and objectivity. Seek out articles that offer context, analysis and multiple viewpoints rather than just repeating rumors and speculation. Pay close attention to the language used. Words like could, might, and potentially often signal speculation rather than confirmed facts. Be cautious of any source that offers a simplistic black and white narrative, as reality is usually more nuanced and complex. Remember the market is a dynamic and ever-changing entity. What goes up must come down and vice versa. A temporary setback for a company doesn't mean it's destined for failure. Similarly, a surge in stock price doesn't necessarily indicate a company's long-term success. By approaching the news with a critical eye and a healthy dose of skepticism, we can avoid being misled by rumors and make more informed decisions about our investments and understanding of the tech world. The tech bubble tango. Is the music stopping for NVIDIA and its high-flying peers? The tech industry loves a good boom and bust cycle. It's like a high-stakes game of musical chairs. When the music stops, someone's left standing. NVIDIA's recent stock market tumble suggests we might be seeing a tech bubble burst. Remember 2020 and 2021? Tech stocks could do no wrong. Money was flowing freely into cloud computing, AI and the metaverse. NVIDIA rode high on this wave, their valuations soaring. But what goes up must come down. With rising interest rates and a looming recession, the party might be ending. The AI arms race. Can NVIDIA stay ahead of the pack in a cutthroat market? While a potential tech bubble burst could certainly contribute to NVIDIA's woes, it's not the only factor at play. The tech industry is notoriously competitive, with companies constantly vying for dominance. In the world of AI chips, the competition is heating up faster than a GPU running crisis on Mac settings. Intel is making a major push into the AI market with its Habana Gaudi processors. Meanwhile, AMD is also muscling into the AI arena with its Instinct MI200 series accelerators. Specialized AI chip startups like Graphcore and Cerebras are developing novel architectures. This fierce competition could erode NVIDIA's market share, putting downward pressure on their stock price. As if navigating a potential tech bubble and fending off fierce competition wasn't enough, NVIDIA also finds itself caught in the crosshairs of escalating geopolitical tensions, particularly between the United States and China. And, as we all know, when elephants fight, it's the ants that get trampled. The US government, citing national security concerns, has imposed increasingly stringent export controls on advanced technologies, including the high-end AI chips that NVIDIA specializes in. These restrictions are aimed at preventing China from acquiring technologies that could give them a strategic advantage in areas like military applications and artificial intelligence development. China, for its part, has been aggressively investing in its own domestic chip industry, seeking to reduce its reliance on foreign companies like NVIDIA. While this effort faces significant challenges, it could eventually erode NVIDIA's market share in this crucial region. These geopolitical tensions create a climate of uncertainty and risk for NVIDIA, making investors nervous and potentially depressing their stock price. The outcome of this technological tug-of-war remains to be seen. But one thing is clear. NVIDIA's future success is inextricably linked to the complex and ever-evolving relationship between the world's two superpowers. Section 4. The Market's Mood Swings When Sentiment Trumps Reality
Market psychology plays a crucial role in Nvidia's stock market roller coaster. The stock market is driven by human emotions, fear, greed, hope, and despair. Bullish investors bid up stock prices, often beyond rational valuations. Pessimism can trigger sell offs, driving prices down below justified levels. Nvidia's stock price is affected by tech bubbles, competition, and geopolitical tensions. Market sentiment is fickle and unpredictable. Fear drives prices down. Optimism sends them soaring back up. Section 1 Nvidia's Roller Coaster Ride A Cautionary Tale of Tech, Hype, Market Realities, and the price of innovation. So, there you have it, folks. We've journeyed through the digital trenches, dissected the rumors, explored the potential causes, and emerged, hopefully, a little bit wiser about the wild world of tech investing. NVIDIA's alleged $1.2 trillion wipeout, while certainly dramatic, serves as a potent reminder that even the most dominant companies are not immune to the forces of market gravity. It's a story as old as the tech industry itself. A company rides a wave of innovation and hype, its valuations soaring to dizzying heights, only to be brought back down to earth by a confluence of factors. Increased competition, shifting market sentiment, or perhaps just a dose of good old-fashioned reality setting in. NVIDIA's experience should serve as a cautionary tale for both investors and tech enthusiasts alike. It's a reminder that hype cycles are ephemeral, that market sentiment can shift on a dime, and that even the most promising technologies face a gauntlet of challenges on the road to widespread adoption. The burning question on everyone's mind, or perhaps the $1.2 trillion question, is this. Is NVIDIA out for the count? Or can they rebound from this setback and reclaim their throne as the leaders of the AI chip market? As with most things in the tech world, the answer is anything but straightforward. NVIDIA still holds several key advantages. A strong brand, a loyal customer base, a history of innovation, and a leading position in a rapidly expanding market. They've weathered storms before, and they've consistently shown their ability to adapt and evolve. However, the challenges they face are substantial. The ongoing investigation into their export practices could lead to costly fines or restrictions on their business. The competition is more intense than ever, with rivals like Intel and AMD close on their heels. And the geopolitical landscape remains fraught with uncertainty, casting a shadow over their future prospects in key markets like China. Only time will reveal how this story unfolds. Will NVIDIA emerge from this crucible stronger than ever, their AI chips driving the next generation of technological marvels? Or will they succumb to the pressures of competition, regulation, and market forces, their once bright star fading into the annals of tech history? Section 3. Revo. Now signing off. Share your thoughts, fuel the discussion, and shape the next video. That's all the time we have for today, folks. But the conversation doesn't end here. I want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on NVIDIA's situation? Do you think they can overcome these challenges and maintain their dominance? Or are we witnessing the beginning of the end for this tech giant? Drop your comments below, share your insights, and let's keep the discussion going. And while you're at it, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future deep dives into the ever-evolving world of tech. I'm always on the lookout for new topics to explore, so let me know what tech mysteries, controversies or trends you'd like me to tackle next. Your curiosity fuels my content, so don't be shy. Until next time, stay curious, stay informed, and stay ahead of the tech curve. This is Revo Now, signing off. Subscribe to Revo Now and join our vibrant community of forward thinkers, change makers, and revolutionaries.